we're going to talk about five different workflows that Navigate Cloud Manager can help you with when it comes to uh, managing BIM 360 and ACC projects on the Autodesk Construction Cloud. So let's dive into what Navigate Cloud Manager is. So Navigate Cloud Manager was purpose-built and designed to accelerate project setup, member management, as well as automate export and data management tasks for both BIM 360 and Autodesk Construction Cloud projects. So BIM 360 and ACC are awesome platforms. However, they are designed in a way that only allows you to manage one project at a time. While Navigate Cloud Manager is focused on enabling the management of multiple projects at the same time through a simple desktop application. So Navigate Cloud Manager is the fastest way to create multiple BIM 360 and now ACC projects from an Excel template-based workflow. We have Intelligent Sync, for folders and files between BIM 360 and ACC projects and a network location. It's the most efficient way to manage multiple users on multiple projects on BIM 360 and ACC. And now with our ACC support, we also include the capability to assign access to modules on ACC projects. We have tools that allow you to set up projects faster with folder templates that include files. And this same functionality can be used to copy folders and files from one project to multiple projects. Now we start getting into the automation side of things. So there's automation around cloud, Revit, WorkShared model publishing, automated uploading and downloading syncs and archives, as well as fully automating the export of PDFs, NWCs, and DWGs on demand or on a schedule. So that's a quick overview of what Navigate Cloud Manager is. Uh, let's take a look at the five workflows that I'll go through quickly. So we have the first workflow, which is we're gonna set up projects with the Excel template. We're gonna create a couple projects in bulk, and then we're gonna apply folder and file templates to those projects. We're then going to apply members in bulk to those projects and manage the products that they have access to, meaning the modules of, of ACC, as well as assigning their company and roles. Then we're going to export some PDFs, NWCs, and DWGs from multiple Cloud Revit models at the same time in bulk. Then we're going to automate publishing multiple Revit models from BIM 360 and across multiple BIM 360 and ACC projects at the same time. And then finally, we are gonna automate file transfers between a network location and the Autodesk Construction Cloud. All right, so let's dive into this first workflow here. Okay, so first we're gonna go to the projects module on the left hand side in Navigate Cloud Manager, and we're gonna download the Excel template to create projects. So we're gonna save that template and we're gonna open up Excel. There's instructions as well as projects and then there's a lookup table for all of the values. Here we can create BIM 360 and ACC projects from this Excel template and it's clearly identifying which fields uh, pertain to which type of project and which fields are optional and which ones are required. Uh, you do have the ability to fill out all this information and take advantage of all of the Excel tools to be more efficient when uh, copying information between projects. All right, so now we're gonna load that Excel template and we're gonna create a number of projects in bulk. So we see all that information and verify it before uh, we go ahead and select all those projects in bulk and then we hit the create button. And then it'll just take a few seconds to create each of those projects. This is a much more efficient workflow than using the Autodesk Construction Cloud website or the BIM 360 website to create projects. All right, now we're gonna apply a template folder structure to all six of these projects in bulk. So we're gonna select all those projects and then we're gonna use our copy from one to multiple command. And we're gonna apply that template folder structure, including files to all six of those projects in bulk. So we're gonna pick our template project 
we're going to pick a staging location or a network sync location. And then we're going to include the files by checking that box there. Then we hit the update button and it will bring us some more information about the next steps in this process and take us over to the files module. So it tells the user clearly what they need to do next and it brings them over to the files module. This is where we can do manual uploads for these projects. So these are all staged in a, a Windows uh, location right now that is very easy to modify the folders, uh, rename folders, maybe you need different team names, you need to update the different consultants or contractors that are on a project or drop more files into specific projects. Uh, you can do all of that in the Windows environment very efficiently prior to uploading. And then if you wanna look at what's on BIM 360, on the far right there, we are exploring what's already up on the BIM 360 or ACC project. Okay. The next workflow here is managing users. So we're gonna add users in bulk to multiple projects. Okay, so we've got the ability to look at BIM 360 and ACC projects here. We can filter that. We can select multiple projects in bulk. So we've got our three ACC projects. We can add users to the account on the hub level. And we require you to specify a default company and default role. Uh, so here we are adding Shear, and then giving her the role of uh, BIM manager. Okay, so we can add users to the hub in bulk. And now we can go ahead and add users to these three projects in bulk. So we're gonna use a number of filters to help reduce the number of users we're looking at in that list. So we can filter by email domain. So this is gonna display all of the users that have an at microdesk.com email domain. And that filters down our list. So if we wanted to grab all of the users from a particular company to add them to a project, we could do that very easily. We also have a previous project filter. So that allows me to grab users from an existing project and grab a team that's already on one project and then move them into the new project. Let's clear that one. And then the last filter we have here is the role filter. So we're going to look for architects and grab the architects by role. Finally, we have a name and email filter. So either you can type the name or the email and it will, it will display the, the results for those. Now, as I switch in and out of all those filters, I was able to keep my selections and I have four people I selected from the different filters. Now I've set the company, I've selected some roles and I'm gonna add those users in bulk. Now there's one more thing that we now have available with ACC, which is the ability to control what modules or as ACC calls it, products are given to the users when we add them on a project. So we are doing this with a template here. So I'm able to save a template and then apply that efficiently when I go to add these users to a project. So we've now created a template. And then when I go to add the users, I'm able to select that template or manually select the choices of which products we want them to have access to. Now it's gonna go ahead and add those four users to those three projects in bulk. And it only takes a few seconds to do that. If we weren't using Navigate Cloud Manager, we would have to go to three different project admin pages and repeat all of those steps over and over and over again for each user. All right, so now let's look at modifying users that are already on a project. So I've selected uh, one project here and we are looking at myself here. We can change the access to products, we can change the company, and we can change the roles assigned to that user. And then we can update that. Now, I just did it on one project, but we could update a number of users if they all have the same settings across multiple projects in bulk. If you need to update a user across all of your projects that they're assigned to, or you need to add users like a new employee to multiple projects, this is the most efficient way to do it. And it saves the administrator from 
going to the project admin pages for each project over and over again to repeat the same tasks. It's a huge time saver. Those uh, workflows were probably the longest ones to show, but we're going to go quickly through these last three here now. So let's take a look at how we export PDF, NWC, and DWG. So how does that work? We configure it in Navigate Cloud Manager by selecting the models from the projects that we want to export from. We're going to use some filters to grab the correct print sets, and then we're going to schedule that. That scheduled export is then going to execute through the core product. That is a Revit add-in that will open up each of the Revit models that we've scheduled to export from and grab the correct print sets or the correct views if it's NWC and export that completely unattended. If there's pop-ups, we have a pop-up dismisser that can handle that as well. Uh, it's a completely unattended way to export and this really frees up your team's time that would have been spent waiting for remote models to open, waiting for PDFs to print, waiting for NWCs or DWGs to export. It's got huge implications when it comes to the amount of time that designers or drafters are spending on those tasks. And it allows them to really focus on the design and be more productive. This of course can be scheduled overnight or out of working hours, allowing everyone to get more out of each day. Okay, so let's take, just take a look at how we set the settings on this. We got three choices, the PDF, NWC, DWG. For a PDF export, or we're gonna use a print set filter. So here we're just looking for the plumbing print sets uh, and we can use Bluebeam or, or an open source and we can use either a combined or individual sheet export from Bluebeam. Uh, we're gonna specify the export location and the Revit version here. Then I go ahead and I select multiple models from multiple projects. So I've got a number of models here selected from multiple projects, and then I'm gonna go ahead and schedule this. I do this maybe uh, three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I specify a time to run. So that's PDF. It is gonna give us a email notification uh, with a log summary of the files that it exported, each time it runs, and then I can deploy this job to either a network server or to run on my own machine. Let's take a look at NWC now. So with NWC, it's a view filter instead of print set filters. Uh, we have an export location. We do need to specify the Revit version here. And then we've got all of the Navisworks exporter utility options that you have available in Revit. So we make sure we have our settings correct and then we're going to go ahead and save these settings and make sure we select some models in multiple projects and we deploy that the same way as the pdf the dwg has some different options here we have the ability to pick a setup configuration as well as use print set filters the export location and the Revit version here again so let's take a look at running the PDF and uh, what the output looks like. So we're gonna organize everything by the model name with a timestamp and then the print set folders underneath that model name. And then I'm just showing the difference between the comp combined and individual sheets. So here is a print set under the model folder with the individual PDFs. So that is how we can free up time on all the teams that are utilizing Revit on their projects, really save them a lot of time when it comes to printing and exporting. All right, publishing is a big deal. It really is gonna help with the adoption of BIM 360 and ACC to publish cloud Revit models more frequently. The Autodesk platform does provide the ability natively to export once a week, but we find that that isn't enough you're not able to take advantage of the compare version features unless you're publishing more frequently. Whenever you get an update on a model, you can compare the differences between them and that is a huge time saver, but it's only possible if you've been publishing. 
Publishing also is critical for anyone that's not using Revit. So if you have project managers or stakeholders that are participating in a BIM 360 or ACC project, and their their view into the project is through the website and the BIM viewer, they're only able to see the work in the model that's been published. So publishing more frequently allows them to be more engaged in the project, not just on a weekly basis, but on a daily basis. Okay, let's take a look at quickly how we can do this. Essentially, we're gonna select a project and then we're gonna select multiple models on that project. And then we can go ahead and select another project and select more models on that project. Now this is using the static selection. We also have something called dynamic that would allow us to select projects and models through filters. But we do have the ability to be very selective with the checkboxes. So we're gonna schedule the days of the week that we wanna publish the model, and then uh, we'll save and deploy that job. So again, we can deploy this to a server or run it on our own machine. All right, and that's how we publish multiple models from multiple projects in bulk. The last workflow is to automate syncing files from a network location to the Autodesk Construction Cloud. All right, so let's take a look at the download job first that I've already created. We're just going to go ahead and edit it here. We can use static or dynamic filtering. I'm going to show you how this filtering works. So if we put in a project filter, it's going to reduce our project list from 524 down to 17. I can select a project and start navigating that project. And then let's look at how some of those filters can affect what we are selecting. So if we put a Revit filter in there, .rbt, .dwg, we're gonna only target those types of files. Now we also have the ability to include or exclude on all these filters. We want to avoid files. We can go ahead and exclude those. Now we're doing a folder filter. So we're looking for files that are in a folder that meets that name there, and we can even include subfolders if we check the box. All right, so that shows you how we have a static and dynamic filtering. If we switch from static to dynamic, the checkboxes will go away and it will run strictly on everything that meets the filters. Or if I leave static on, it's gonna only apply the upload or download to the actual files that we selected. Big deal that we have dynamic because it's future proof. So as you may not know the name of a file or a model that's going to or a folder that's going to be added or even a project that's going to be added. But if it meets the filters, it will get included in future runs that are scheduled for the sync. Very powerful to use dynamic with filters and it's also very controlled and targeted if you use static with the checkboxes. All right. So those are the five workflows. For Navigate Cloud Manager. And here's just a, a summary of the features that are focused on project setup, member management, as well as automating model publishing, uploading and downloading, as well as exporting 